welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all could find me today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today we're talking about the cozy mystery August 2021. I keep wanting to say 2020 and Lord don't. I don't know how I could. <laughs> 2021 cozy mystery releases. I did this in two parts this month because there are so many cozies, especially now that I have been uh, researching independent cozies that are coming out or self-published, those sort of thing. This video is more of those. So it's more of the KU, other self-publishing, independent publishing type of books. They There are a ton of them and some of them look so good. So there could be some traditionally published books mixed in. I, I know that there was some that got missed or I didn't see them on the first list, but as I was researching more, I found them. So I still wanted to put them on here, but for the most part, these are self-published. So let me know which of these that you want to read, which of these that you're interested in reading. Anything else that you want to talk about down there is the place to do it. On your way down to comment, don't forget to stop, hit the subscription and the notification bell because that's going to tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week. All right, let's get to it. We're looking at August 2021 Cozy Mystery Releases Part 2 in 3, 2, 1, go! So guys, this is where I'm going to sneak in our weekly announcements. There's not very many of them. August, are, we are not doing cozy mystery knockout challenges. We are doing a cozy mystery series read along. We are reading Tina Cashian's Kitchen Kebab series. So in August, we're reading book number one. It is Hummus and Homicide. It's right here. We will be discussing it the third Saturday of the month. So it's going to replace our, like I said, knockout challenge. Our book club is the still going to be normal fourth Saturday of the month. We are reading Arsenic and Adobo right here. This is by Mia P. Monansala, and I'm so excited for this one. For the foreseeable future, until I know that my schedule is changing, we're going to be doing um, intense reading sprints. Monday right here on my channel with uh, myself and Cozy Row. And those will be at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. So I think those are the main announcements. So let's just get right into our list. I'm not going to be giving um, the synopsis of these books. There was just too many. And I don't want the time to be crazy. So I'm just going to go through them and show you the uh, titles and covers and all that. You can kind of check them out for yourselves. So the first one is I know a traditionally published book, which is why I said there are going to be some. It is The Chocolate Raccoon Rigmarole, book number 18 in the Chocoholic series by Joanna Carl. This um, series has been around forever. It feels like there should be more than 18 books in this series because I saw, I was like seeing these covers and these books way before I started reading Cozy. So it's I'm really surprised that it's book 18 coming out. It's interesting. The next one is by Agatha Frost. The book is Toffee Apple Torment. <laughs> this is the sixth book in Claire's Candle Cozy series. It says the main character is Claire Harris and they are a candle maker. The next book is called What the Cat Dragged In. It's right here. This is book 14 and it's in the Cat in the Stacks Mystery series by Miranda James. The next book is called Murder at the Church. It is right here. This is book six in the Eve Mallow Mystery Series by Claire Chase. Oh my gosh. This next book has a great title. It's called The Seven Year Witch. <laughs> this is in the Witch Way Librarian Mystery Series. I'm not sure what number it is in the series. I apologize. This is by Angela M. Sanders. The next one sounds super fun because I am digging B&Bs lately. It's the Salem B&B Mystery Series. The book is called Mrs. Morris and the Vampire. I'm not sure of the number of this one either. I take that back. It is number five in the series. This is by Tracy Wilton. The next book is called Murder Always Barks Twice. It's right here. This is book number two in the Chatty Corgi Mystery Series by Jennifer Hawkins. Sounds adorable. <laughs> oh, another one I can't wait to check out and it's the first book in a series. I won't. I will put it on my list to tell Cozy Row about that I want to read. 
It's gonna be hard though, because this one sounds really fun. I love theater, guys. This is the Dinner and Murder Mystery book series. It is called Death in, a Ca in Castle Dark. It is right here. This is by Veronica Bond, and it sounds like it is right up my alley, and I can't wait to try it out. The next book is called Still Life and Death right here. This is a Shepherd Sisters mystery series. It says this is published by Hallmark Publishing, and it is by Tracy Garnet. It is the third in the series. The next book is called Danger at the Cove, right here. This is book two in the Island Sister series by Hannah Dennison. The next book, Death and Sensibility. This is the second book in the Jane Austen Society mystery series by Elizabeth Blake. The next book, Dial M for Maine Coon, right here. This is the second book in the Fur Ever Pets mystery series. Fur, fur spelled like fur on a dog or cat. <laughs> <laughs> this is by Alex Erickson. Oh my gosh. The next one is called Double Chocolate Cookie Murder. This cover is right here. This is the fifth book in a cook-off mystery series by Devin Delaney. The next book is called Saved by the Spell. <laughs> this is a House of Magic book number two. House of Magic series book number two and it's by Susanna Shore. Oh, I love the puns on the covers. It's just amazing. Next book is called An Untidy Death. This is book two in the Decluttering Mystery Series by Simon Brett. The next one is Hemlock for the Holidays. This is part, uh, or book three in the Fine Art Mystery Series by Paula Darnell. The next book is called Mosquito Bite Murder. It's right here. This is the 19th book in the Mary Rath Mystery Series by Leslie Langtree. The next book is called Murder at Wakehurst. It's right here. This is the ninth book in the Gilded Newport Mystery Series by Alyssa Maxwell. The next book is called Dust to Dust. It is right here. This is the second book in the Ivy Nichols Mystery Series by Audrey Keown. Keown, I'm sorry. The next book is called Her Missing Husband. It's right here. This is the second book in the Tattletale Cafe Mystery Series by Victoria L.K. Williams. The next book, Espresso and Evidence. This is the sixth book in the Cup of Joe mystery series by Kelly Hashway. And that just sounds like fun. I really love coffee cozies as well. The next one is called Murder After Midnight it is right here. This is book 22 in the Libby Sargent mystery series by Leslie Cookman. The next one's called Murder on the Boardwalk right here. This is the 31st book in the Violet Carlisle Cozy Mystery Historical Series by Beth Byers. The next one is The Haunted Homecoming right here. This is book 10 in the Southern Ghost Hunter series by Angie Fox. This next series is one I really like. The book is called Pink Sprinkled Murder right here. This is the 21st in the Bite Size Bakery Cozy Series by Rosie A. Point. I've read a couple of these. They're super cute. This next one I am thrilled about. I'm, I'm so excited. If anybody's read this, let me know. Actually, you can't have read it because book number one is coming out. And unless you, maybe it was some sort of pre or arc or something like that. Anyways, if you've read it, let me know. It is a paranormal, magical, renaissance fair mystery series. I think that that sounds amazing. The first book is called much a broom about nothing. <laughs> this is the first book. Like I said, it's by Aaron Johnson. I cannot wait to check this series out. The next one is the Schemes and Bad Dreams. This is the name of the book right here. This is a by, in the Mitzi Moon mystery series. It is book number 15. This is by Trixie Silvertail. The next book is called Sherlock Holmes and the Case of the Wealthy Widow right here. This is the third book in the Marty Hudson series by Gemma Holiday. The next book is called Deadly Caramel. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It is the sixth book in the Witch in the Woods series by Jenna St. James. The next book is called Fame, Food, and Murder. This is the 21st book in the Dune House Cozy Mystery Series by Cindy Bell. The next book is called The Case of the Key Lime Crimes. It's right here. This is the second book in the Gossip Cozy Mystery Series by Rosie A. Point, who writes the Bite Size Cozy, so I'm excited to check those out. The next one, the title is 
amazing. It's called Purebreds and Perjury. <laughs> this is the second book in the Claw and Order series by Molly Fitz. That is amazing. The next series is called My Brew Heaven. <laughs> Of my blue heaven. Oh my god, these are amazing. This is the sixth book in the Supernatural Speak Easy Cozy Mystery series. I'm really excited to check out this series. I think this will be something I love. It's by Lily Harper Hart. I can't wait. The next book is called Striped and Strangled. This is the fourth book in the Nitty Kitties Mystery series. This is by Tracy Drew. I just love saying that. The Nitty Kitties. The next book is called All That's Hollow. It's right here. This is the second book in the Crafty Witch Mystery Series by Sarah Borgos. I told you there's so many and they sound so good. The next one is the Mudroom Mystic. It is right here. This is the seventh book in the Magical Renovation Series by Amy Boyles. The next book is called Cursing Up a Storm. It is right here. This is the first book in the Witches Murder Club series by Samantha Silver. Love new series when they start. The next one is Murder in London right here. This is the eighth book in the Rosa Reed mystery series by Lee Strauss. The next one sounds really cute. It is called A Deadly Danish right here. This is part, it is the sixth, sorry, the fourth book in the Beachfront Bakery mystery series. Now that sounds adorable. Next one is called Apple Fritter Fright, which is a great name. This is book 37 in the Murder in the Mix series by Addison Moore. This is another Rosie 8 point. It's the Barbecue Burger Murder. It is book three in the Sleepy Creek Cozy Mystery series. So I can't wait to check that one out too. And the cover is adorable. Next book is called Deadly Delivery right here. This is by one of, an author who I adore. It's Tanya Kappas. I absolutely love her Campers and Criminal series. It's another series that might make my favorites list before the end of the year. This is then the, the seventh book in her mail carrier that is coming out in August. The next one is called Never Say Chai. It's right here. This is the fourth book in the Tea and Tarot Cozy Mystery series by Kirsten Weiss. The next one is called Death Takes a Holiday. This is the 18th book in the Country Cottage Mystery Series by Addison Moore. The next one is called A Foul Play. It's right here. This is the third book in the Poppy Lewis Mystery Series by Lucinda Harrison. The next one is Witch's Diary. This is the eighth book in the Witches and Wine Series by, by Morgana Best. That sounds fabulous. Oh my gosh. The next one has another amazing title. Not by Oolong Shot. <laughs> this is the sixth book in the Pebble Cove Tea House series. This is by Aaron Scott. Oh my gosh. That is a great title. The next series is one I can't wait to check out. The book is called Murder on Honky Tonk Row. This is book two in the Ghost and Camper Cookie Mystery Series by Rita Maroy. Oh my gosh, that sounds adorable. The next book is called Vows and Vengeance. It says it's book four in the Confessions of a Closet Medium. This is by Nix Hollowell. The next book is called A Treacherous Takeout. It is right here. This is the second book in the Three Kitty Familiar P.I. Witch Mystery Series. This is by Constance Barker. The next book is called A Fatal Move right here. This is the third book in the Neighborhood Watch Mystery Series by Rose Temple. The next book is called Ghosts and Pink Candles right here. This is the 14th book in the Witches Cove Mystery Series by Vela Day. The next book is called A Shred of Sorcery right here. This is the fifth book in the French Quarter Witch Mystery Series by Constance Barker. The next book is called Pies and Pandemonium. It's right here. This is the sixth book in the Bell Harbor Cozy Mystery Series by Sue Hollowell. This next series, I've heard some good things about. It is the Charlotte Adams Professional Organizer series. The book coming out is called Closet Confidential. It's right here. This is the fourth book, and this is by Mary Jane Matheny. 
The next book is called Death by Dumpling right here. This is the fourth book in the Snips and Snails Cafe Mystery Series by Elizabeth Rain. Next book, Here Comes the Homicide. This is the third book in the Wedding Crashers Mystery Series by Erin Scoggins. The next book is called Liar Liar. This is the second book in the Magical Soap Maker Mystery Series by S.E. Babin. The next one is called Like, Share, and Poison. This is the second book in the Viral Vlogger series by Noah Alexander. Next book is called Break In and Eggs. <laughs> this is a part of the Blue Haven Cozy Mystery series. It's actually the first book in the series. This is by Sue G. Fouts. That is a great title. The next book, Fool's Gold Murder. It's right here. This is book five in the Hollywood Who Done It Mystery Series by Brittany E. Bring Brinninger. Next book, Booked for Murder, right here. This is the first book in the Bewitching Books Mystery Series by Sherry Sal. The next book is called The Case of the Deadly Ferris Wheel. This is by Emily Tandy, and it's the third book in the Tilly and Toffee Investigate series. The next book is called Adventures in Vegas right here. This is the third book in the Crossword Puzzle Cozy Mystery Series by Louise Foster. So that is the last one. I told you there were so many cozies coming out this month. It's just so exciting to see that there's more and more each month. Oh, it makes me so happy. Let me know again which of these you're reading. And until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everyone.